guys. Hey, what's up? It's G. It's Michelle. And this is Beauty and the Bitch. And today we have a haul slash review. Um, we have the two of the Glamizer Mo HD quads, the new quads. And we also have... That one hit the floor. And we also <laughs> have Scandalize by Rimmel and Fix and Perfect Pro 002. So we're going to just jump right in with the quads. quads. Well, first of all, I got the greatest opportunity to test out new beauty products that are coming out in 2012 at Seventeen Magazine. I went to the building in October, and me and a bunch of lucky girls came and we tested out these products. And the products um, also included the Rimmel New Glam Eyes, and these were, our products were just great. There were six quads in the collection, and these were by far the best ones I've tested out. This one is in 003 royal blue and this is in 008 royal no sorry 008 true union jack and basically it's this one is pink and that one is a nice turquoise and G doesn't like the whole layout of it and tell him why well we keep forgetting to get a brush every time we sit down again but um here's why because Firstly, it's it's cute, right, to look at, but it's not really functional. Like, it's cute, but it's not functional. And to me, there's nothing worse when a product looks great, but it's really difficult to use. And it's like, how would you get a MAC 224 or a 217 or even a 239 shaded brush or a fluffy brush? Like, any of those brushes in to this tiny little blue and this black. Like, you know what I mean? Or even worse, this white. And especially if you follow the directions, if you were to, which I wouldn't, because I don't, like, this is not how I wear my makeup, but if you were to follow the directions on the back, it says that you need to use this one color, number one, as the highlight, which is the white one, which right is the right. white one, and you, the only brush that you can get into here without you, um, touching any other color would be like a 219 pointed pencil brush, or like an angled shadow, like an angled liner brush. And how are you going to highlight your whole, like, brow space as much as it tells you to here, which is like half your eye, with just that little brush, you know what I mean? It's not functional. Also, at first I thought that the background colors on these were the same. Um, the white is the same, and the dark blue is the same. The only difference is that in this one you have two blues, and in this one you have a black and a blue. Mm -hmm. And what I don't like is that I wouldn't wear the two blues with this pink and the white this way. You know what I mean? Like, they're all shimmery. They're all sheen and really shimmery. They're really bold colors, you know? But, but there's nothing to, like, blend with. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no mattes. There's no, like, um, different types of finishes at all. Like, they're all the same type of finish, which kind of mimics a Frost slash Blux Pearl by MAC finish to me. But um, let me show you what I mean with the layout. She's going to swatch it. I'm going to swatch. And we're going to swatch true. So if I pick up more than one color, that's how I'm going to swatch it. So first, the main color is the pink. Don't mean to flip you guys off, sorry. <laughs> and I got a little blue in there. What did you got? I got some. I just got blue. Good for you. Mm -hmm. You're just being biased because you like it. Oh. <laughs> right, and now I'm going to go for one of my blues. I'm gonna go the same I got color. some white on it. Oh, I got some white too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you want to do the other blue? Oh, I got some white and green on that. Oh, I got straight up blue, but I was careful. Yeah. So let's try that. Okay, and then the white. Oh, this is my favorite part right here. Okay. I used my pinky, guys, and I know my pinky's chunky, but it ain't that chunky that I should be getting. Mm -hmm. It's got like a blue border. <laughs> Look. I do really like the white. I like the white, but it's just like... It's so limited. You know what? It is a nice white. And the pink I like. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've been wearing... I wear the pink, like six times yeah. and it was the same look I used pink on my lid all over mm -hmm. I blended out with max pink swoon blush mm -hmm. in the crease and then I slightly used um velvet revolver by Too Faced which is in the naked palette mm -hmm. just to like blend out to the highlight and the highlight I just used a matte cream color like blonde type um and I used wing eyeliner and it looked beautiful and like a flush of just color and it kind of looked really springy kind of but it was nice and it was simple and it was pretty and I liked it but like I just I don't like the layout and I feel like it just takes too much time for me to have to pick it up but it's a nice 
formula. The formula is nice, not too much fallout or anything like that. Um, the packaging is durable because we've been dropping yeah. these all day. Yeah, they're quite strong. They are very and the strong. shadows haven't broken. And the shadows haven't broken at all. And it's a cute layer to look at. And it's a very cute layer to look at. Um, they also, as I said, those six other different shades. These are just two of them. These are the more stronger, like, bolder ones. They have the neutrals. They have, like, the green kind of forest one. ones. Uh, they have a neutral one. They have a, a smoky one. But these are the ones that, that were more colorful that caught my eye. So these were really great, and we actually picked them up. I thought they were going to come out in 2012, but, you know, they came out early. Also, um, they were like six? They were like six, around, they retail for like six something. We got them at a Dwayne Reed. Dwayne Reed, right? Yeah. Six something, Dwayne right? Reed. Also, check out, um, one of the girls, her name was Lucy, that, sh um, she came with me at 1719, and we tested out these products as well. Um, she yeah, has... Yeah, she's one. Oh, um, she does, she has a makeup channel. Check her out. It's Lucy's makeup tutorials. She's also really awesome. So check her out. Yeah, shout out to Lucy because she's from Scotch Plains, New Jersey, and I lived in that town, and nobody <laughs> knows that it exists. So yeah. props for that. Yeah. So next. Oh, okay, this is exciting. Oh my god. Okay, she bought this. We ran into this by accident at Drain Reed. It yeah. was like a freak accident. But oh, it's amazing. It does look like the last blast, but it's way better. Okay. Big old fat brush. Yes. I loves me a fat brush. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, right? Look. Ah, it's snatchy. <laughs> snatchy, snatchy. Basically, this formula is incredible. It really catches every lash. Like, it really does. Like, it combs, and the formula is like not too thick, not too thin, and it's like, how do you say? No, no, like, I, what I like about it is that, like, when I put it on, I was like, bam! Like, it was just it like. It really, like, extended in one. In one sweat. Like. It was crazy cool. Like, I mean, I like, I prefer a rubber brush. Because, mm -hmm. um, you see our bristles get clumpy. Yeah, I just swipe it. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. But I prefer a rubber brush and I prefer, like, a thick formula. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is fantastic. It's not too thick, not too thin at all. It's it is. And perfect it's perfect for anybody. I mean, the packaging is kind of nice too. I just think it's a little bloody, but whatever. I'm not really too picky about what my mascara looks like because nobody really sees it. You know what I mean? It's just. So, but yeah. This was great. I really thought, like... What was it? How much was it? This was, like, around six something, seven, you know. Mascara really price? Okay. Mascara price, really average. But I love Rimmel mascaras. I'm a big fan of the Rimmel mascaras. Except the sexy eyes, the sexy curves one. Oh. I did not like that one. The one, it was, like, all, like... You know what you're talking like, about? Yeah. It has, like, a little thing, thing in it. Was, the, the, yeah. It was thin and, like, little bristles, but, like... It kind of hurt, like, you know. It was annoying. It was I just, like, such a hassle. It was the water. I had the waterproof and the regular one. Well, I had the regular one. I tried both, and I just didn't like it, but the Lash Accelerator one is really, really good. Because I, like, like, lately I've been getting into Rimmel because I fell in love with the Clean Finish Foundation, but mm -hmm. the first product that I've ever used from Rimmel... We have to do the Clean Rimmel Foundation. So right. we'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it in the yeah. video. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have multiple shades. But the first video that... Uh, the first video, the first... Okay. Rimmel that I ever used is um, this product. Well, actually, it was the original version of this product, the Fix the Perfect Pro Primer. It was the first primer I ever saw at a drugstore, but it was in shade 001. This is 002, and 001 had like this peachy tone to it, which I kind of liked because I felt like it autocorrected some of my redness. However, this one it just came out and it's almost empty because I've been using it all the time. If you saw my um, general maintenance video or the haul. It's the product that I, uh, it's one of the products I hold there. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the Makeup Forever primer. Like, it's like just the matte, creamy, a little goes a long way, silky formula. And it says that it's five and one, meaning that it smooths lines, resurfaces, restores, um, brightens, mattifies, and protects. And it's um, awesome. My foundation has never looked as good as it does when I put it over this. Um, it's smooth, it's silky, it's like seven bucks. It's just fantastic. And it works really good with the Rimmel Clean Finish, which is what I've been using it under. And one of my favorite, like, favorite um, primers of all time was the original one of this. So I'm loving it. I'm, I'm in love. Like, this is the most... Out of all four of these products, if I could only have one and for the rest of my life, it'd be this. This would be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? They release a new mascara every freaking month, so you know what I mean. I love this. Love this. So that is this haul uh, slash review. 
Anything that? No. No. Pretty much it. No. So, get your hands on these products. They're great. Oh, Especially well. the mascara. Primer. <laughs> Primer. <laughs> Primer. I'd say, um... If you're really, really into makeup, no go on the quads just because it's such a hassle. Mm -hmm. But I'll <coughs> get the primer. Get the primer. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I just think the fish get the primer. All right. So, as always, this has been Beauty is a Bitch. And remember, beauty is a bitch. So, if you feel something about it.